Mom! Mom! Hey, Mom! What is it, Bethy? I want to play a game with factors, but they're kind of tricky. Do you think you could help me and my friends? Of course I can, Matthew. That sounds like fun. I love factors. Yeah, me too. But sometimes they can be kind of hard. So I'm going to grab my friends and then we can all meet back here and play factor attack. Awesome. I will be right here for you, Matthew. Great. Thanks, Mom. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, here we have a game called Factor Attack. As you can see, we've got the word Factor all the way down the side of our game board. And we've got the numbers from 1 to 30 all mapped out. What we're going to do is we're going to draw a number and that's going to tell us which number we're breaking down. Then we can each take turns naming a factor and see who gets the most points. Once you name a factor, that becomes your score. And if we run out of factors, then whoever's last just doesn't get to pick a factor. All right, let's see how it works. Using Mentorhood math cards, I've drawn the number 27. Okay, now are there any factors of 27? Hmm, well, because I get to start, I get to start by naming one. And since every factor has itself as a factor, I'm going to write down 27 for my answer. I'm going to put that in my score. Okay, Diviana, want to see if you can name another factor? Well, I know that 1 times 27 is 27, so maybe I'll just put down 1. That's a pretty safe bet. Oh, I know another one. I know that 9 is a factor of 27, because 9 times... No, Addison, don't tell us what 9 times is, because... Then that will give away the other factor. Oh right, I should keep that on the down low. But nine is definitely a factor because nine can go into a multiplication question to make 27. Okay, my turn again. Have we missed any factors? Well, we haven't paired the nine with anything. And I know that nine times three is 27. So that's going to be the other one that I take. Alright, let's draw another number. Alright, our number has to be under 30, so we've just got to keep drawing until we get a number that's 30 or less. So 30, I get to name a factor of 30. Well, the first one that I'm going to take, of course, is 30. Alright, I'll do one. Um, six. And I know that... 6 times 5 is 30, so that means that 5 is another factor. Hmm, now I really have to think. 5 is gone, and 6 is gone, and 30 is gone, and I want to see if I can think of another one before I just select 1. Um, Mrs. Smart, are we missing any, or did we get them all? Oh, you've actually got a pretty good one up for grabs still. Really? Okay, I'm going to think really hard. Hmm, one, two, three. Well, three would go into 30. But what does it multiply by? Can I get a bigger number? Three times 10 is 30. I'm going to take 10. All 
All right, and then I guess I'll take three, the other part of that. And that leaves one for me. See how it works? All right, now let's add up our score just temporarily to see where we're at. Now, we're just gonna keep going until we hit a certain number of points. Let's say 100 points. Whoever gets to 100 points wins. Okay, so we're gonna keep going to our total until somebody gets to 100 points. So here we go, we're gonna do it really fast for you. You ready? My turn first, so I'm gonna pick 29. There really aren't a ton of factors of 29. So I'm just gonna pick one. Mrs. Smart, did we get them all? You should know, but yes, that's all the factors of 29. Okay, my turn again. 10. And I'm gonna pick five. I guess I'll pick two. And it comes back to me with one. We'll put our new totals at the top of a new scorecard. Eighteen. Nine. Two, and one. Twenty-four. Twelve. Two, eight, three, six, four, and one. Mom, did we get them all? 24 has a lot of factors. 24 sure does have a lot of factors. It's one of the most factored numbers under 30. But yes, you got them all. Good job! one for me. Nineteen. Um, one, I guess. That's right, there are no more factors of nineteen. 
25. Five. And one. Twenty-eight, wow! Fourteen! Mmm, two? Hey, wait a second! Before we keep going, I think I've got over a hundred! I've got forty-nine, plus twenty-four, plus twenty-eight, well that's gonna give me more than fifty, and 49, that gives me more than 100. I won, everyone! Oh, wow, you're right, Addison. You have more than 100 points. Great job. Everyone did so well with their factoring. Yes, you did. It's helpful to have a grown-up around to make sure that you got all the factors if you're still a little unsure about the bigger numbers. But everyone did so well. Great job. And congratulations, Addison, on the highest score. Thanks, Mrs. Smart. That was really fun, Matthew. And I feel like I'm better at remembering factors. Yeah, it's also really good to help you practice your multiplication and to remember the ones you already know. That's right, everyone. Factoring is a great exercise to help you remember your multiplication and division tables. Oh, I can't wait to play again. Are we gonna play something else? Maybe another day, Addison, but thanks so much for coming. Oh, anytime, Matthew. I love games. Me too. Thanks so much for your help, Mrs. Smart. And thank you, everyone, for playing with us. Don't forget that you can play Factor Attack anytime you want at home. All you need to do is pick a number between 1 and 30 and factor them. And try to get as many factors as you can and try to get the biggest ones. That's right! You can play with anyone you like! Friends, classmates, parents, anyone! Alright, have fun everyone! And don't forget to check out the rest of our channel for more fun games to help you practice your math skills! Bye everyone! Bye! Bye! Bye everyone! Thanks for coming!